this is the video competency for crutch teaching. Uh, this competency, step one, like all the others, say to do a medical aseptic hand wash and to um, gather your equipment. So you will go to the other room, do a hand wash, and the equipment you need to gather for this competency is a set of crutches. The crutches are adjustable, very similarly to the quad cane and the walker. There is a, a push button so you can adjust it for patient's approximate height prior to, and we'll talk about how to fit the patient for crutches specifically in just a moment. So step two then says to identify the patient and explain the procedure. So I'm gonna call my patient in, Erin Woods. Hey Erin, how are you? Good. Good, I'm gonna have you have a seat here. Your ankle bothering you? All right, what we're gonna do today is we're going to um, go ahead and get some crutches fit for you, okay? To kind of help you get around with that ankle, all right? Can I get your birthday before we get started? April 10th, 03. Okay, perfect, that's what I have in your chart too. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and have you stand up so I can adjust these for your height. All right, so what we're gonna do to adjust crutches for the patient's height is that the top of the crutch is not where the patient's going to put their weight, okay? They're gonna put all their weight on their hands and we need to tell them that. The top of the crutch should be about two to three finger space underneath their armpit, about two inches under that armpit. So let's see how these fit for you, Erin. That looks good. Let's check this one. All right, let me know if they bother your armpit. They might be a little bit high, but we'll see how things go. Now, what I want you to do is we want to make sure that the patient's elbows are bent at a between 15 and 30 degree angle. So somewhere around a 20 degree angle. And these look pretty good because again, we want her weight on her hands, not her armpit. If she puts that weight on her armpits in the armpit, it can cause problems with circulation, nerve damage, etc. Okay. All right, Erin, um, do, does that feel comfortable for your, your weight to be put on your hands? Okay, so now I wanna give her a little bit of instruction now that I have the crutches adjusted to this particular patient. I wanna tell her exactly what to do, how to go forward, where to put her weight, um, et cetera. All right, Erin, so the first thing that I want you to do, and I don't want you to move them yet, but I'm gonna have you move the crutches forward about six inches, and then you're going to keep your um, bad ankle held up and with your good ankle, then you're gonna to swing to even with the crutches, okay? So just little baby steps at a time. So go ahead and, and then swing right too. There you go, very good, excellent. All right, stop. All right, so we wanna watch the patient, see if they have any questions, see if things feel comfortable. We wanna to watch to make sure they're putting that weight here and not in the armpit. All right, here we're gonna go ahead and turn around. Now I'm gonna have you go back to your seat. Doing good. All right, you can go ahead and have your seat, Erin. So I'm gonna set these aside for just a second, and then I'm gonna ask my patient if they have any questions, okay, about what they did, um, give them some feedback um, so on the observation that I did on them using the crutches, and then I'm gonna let them go. So Erin, does that feel comfortable okay? Do you think this will be better than hopping around? Okay, sounds good. So Erin, you can go ahead and go. I'm gonna go ahead and give you these crutches now that you know how to use them. And um, you are done with the doctor for today. Okay, so the last thing that I need to do is I've discharged my patient. I'm gonna wash my hands and do my documentation. Documentation is gonna be very similar to what we did for the um, cane and walker. So I'm gonna do my patient's uh, name and date of birth at the top, date, time, instructed patient on how to use axillary crutches, because remember there's several types of crutches and that's what we did was axillary. Instructed patient on uh, how to use axillary crutches and then just sign it and that's all that is required for documentation.